so in this video we are going to discuss the concept of simultaneous equations a set of simultaneous equation is a finite set of equations for which common solutions are sought it is a finite set of equations which implies that the number of equations <coughs> are limited or are bounded it is within a specific range now a common solutions are sought for all variables in the equations let us look an example of a simultaneous equation out here we have a simultaneous equations of two equations and two variables so when <coughs> finding the solutions of this simultaneous equation out here will get the value of x and y when substituting the value of x and y in these two equations the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side so in this manner common solutions of x and y are found for all the equations in the set of simultaneous equation There are some points to be noted in a simultaneous equations. Let us see. <coughs> so it is a set of two or more equations. So it can be a set of two equations in this case, or three equations in this case, or four equations, five equations, or even more than that. However, it cannot be infinite. Next, each equation contains two or more variables. So each equation in the simultaneous equation can contain two or more variables. In this equation, we see that the first equation has three variables. The second equation has two variables and the third equation also has two variables. Next, the number of variables may be equal to or less than the number of equations. So the number of variables in a set of simultaneous equation may or may not be equal to the number of equations. We see out here that the variables in this set of simultaneous equations are x1 and x2 so the so there are two variables however the number of equation is 3 next the solution of the variables can simultaneously satisfy both the equations in case of two equations so I have discussed earlier in case of two equations after finding the value of x and y when substituted in the set of simultaneous equation it will always satisfy which implies that the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side similarly in case of uh, three equations after finding the value of let us take uh, the example of the second one after finding the value of x1 x2 and x3 when substituted in these equations the left hand side will always be equal to the right hand side similarly the variables found will satisfy all equations in case of more than three equations so it can be 4, 5 or 6 or even 10. I have taken an example out here of a set of simultaneous equations which has n yet number of equations and n yet variables. In this system of simultaneous equation A11, A12, 
all these are supposed to be constant but in order to arrive at level of generality we denote it by a parameter even in this case d1 d2 dn all these are parameters and x1 x2 all these are variables i hope you remember what are variables parameters or constant and can take any values from 1 2 and so on now d1 d2 dn are constant terms If the value of n in this case is 4, it implies that the number of variable is 4. If it is 5, then the number of variable will be 5 and so on. If the value of n in this case is 4 then it implies that there are four equations if it is 5 then it will be five equations and so on so what does the coefficient aij tells us now j out here tells us to which variable the coefficient is attached to and i out here tells us in which equation it is present now a11 tells us that it is the coefficient of the first variable present in the first equation how do we know by looking at i and j now j out here is one which stands for the variable to which this coefficient is attached one out here indicates the equation in which this coefficient is present next a12 a12 tells us this coefficient is attached to the first variable present in the second equation next coefficient of the first variable present in the and yet equation next coefficient of the and yet variable present in the and yet equation similarly for the others you can see out here so for a13 it is the coefficient of the third variable present in the first equation So solving system of simultaneous equations there are two methods of solving the system of simultaneous equations which we have learned in our school and high school level that is elimination method and substitution method we can also use the help of matrix algebra matrix algebra is especially useful when the number of equations is very large now again in matrix algebra there are two methods of solving the simultaneous equations they are matrix inversion and Kramers rule in the next video 
I'm going to discuss matrix inversion and Kramer's rule separately.